So the status of the post World Cup preseason for the Premier League teams is that Aston Villa lost 3-1 at Cardiff on Wednesday the 30th of November. On Friday the 2nd of December, Nottingham Forest lost 2-1 at Stoke. And Crystal Palace, the day after, drew 0-0 versus the Brazilian side Botafogo. On Tuesday the 6th of December, West Ham United beat Cambridge 2-4 away. And Nottingham Forest lost 3-2 against Greek side Atromitos. The day after, Crystal Palace drew 2-2 against Turkish side Trapsonspor. And Manchester United lost to Spanish side Cadiz 4-2. The day after, Aston Villa drew 2-2 against Brighton. Arsenal won 3-0 against Lyon. Newcastle United won 5-0 away against Al-Hilal. And Leeds United beat Elche 2-1 away. On Friday the 9th, Wolves played 1-1 against Empoli and Spurs beat Motherwell 4-0. The day after, West Ham beat Udinese 3-1 away. And Brentford lost against French side Bordeaux. Leicester drew 0-0 against Troy. And Nottingham Forest lost against Olympiacos, the Greek side. And Manchester United lost again. And again to a Spanish side, Real Betis 1-0. On Sunday the 11th, Liverpool lost against Lyon. Aston Villa beat Chelsea 1-0. And Napoli beat Crystal Palace 3-1. On Tuesday the 30th of December, Brentford lost 3-1 to Celta Vigo, the Spanish side. And Arsenal beat AC Milan 2-1. Wolverhampton beat Spanish side Cadiz 4-3. And Aston Villa lost against Spanish side Villarreal. Yesterday, Friday the 16th, Liverpool beat AC Milan 4-1. Crystal Palace beat Real Valladolid 2-1. And Nottingham Forest beat Valencia 2-1. And Leeds United beat Real Sociedad 2-1. And today, Brentford is going to play against Wolfsburg. Newcastle will play against Rayo Vallecano. Manchester City will play their first game of the preseason against Girona, Spanish side. Fulham and West Ham United will play a London derby. And Arsenal will play Juventus. And then uh, midweek on Wednesday, Leeds United will play Monaco and Tottenham will play Nice. It hasn't been without trouble. Gabriel Jesus got an injury against Lyon and had to have a knee surgery and is out until February at the earliest Obviously, Mikel Arteta is very disappointed with that. No, obviously we know that um, he had uh, he needed some intervention in the knee, and uh, we will have to take day by day, week by week. And and if we look at the other London club, Chelsea, they were also facing some problems with uh, Armando Broja, who against Aston Villa tore his ACL and needs a surgery and will be out for the rest of the season. So the question is now: Will both Arsenal and Chelsea go out in the transfer window and buy strikers? We have to see.